Welcome back. Now in this video, we're gonna go through three things to make your site instantly unique to brand your business. We're now looking at the outside of our site and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the dashboard area. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the menus. And we're gonna do that by going to the appearance and we're gonna go to this link that says menus. Now you're going to notice that our site has four topics across the top menu. And what we want to do is we want to customize that. We want to change that to something that our team is going to find more approachable. So as we're inside of the menu area, what we're going to do is we're going to change some of these categories. So for example, we're going to change this to from about to about team victory. We're going to change the blog category to the team victory diaries or journal and we're going to change the contact information and we're actually going to remove this and we'll talk about this a little bit more as we get to that section about our contact page we're going to add in a custom link instead and so we're going to create a custom link and we're going to place that in the menu so once we've done that we're going to click add to menu and we're actually going to move this up Once we've done that, then we're going to click Save Menu. And then we'll go back and take a look and see what our menu looks like now. And you'll see now that we have fully customized our menu. We now want to customize what our team sees when they come to our site. So we're going to go to the Customize button. We're going to go to the Header Media. And you're going to notice a couple of things here. Now, this header media is actually going to be this image. And we can change this image. So we can change this to something else. Now, the thing that we want to recognize is that the image needs to be of a certain size. It needs to be 2,000 by 1,200 pixels. However, we can go one step further and we can actually add a video. And it can be something that really reflects who our team is. It can be a video of our team or something that we have done where we have actually been celebrating some of the victories that we've had or a live event or something that we want people to see when they come to the site. So we're just going to go to YouTube and get a URL. And we can find any URL. We can grab the link address. And we can come back and actually add that URL in this section. Once we have it there, then we click Save and Publish. And now this will be the image of this video that people will see when they actually come to the site. And while the video is loading, it's going to show the header image. So this is a great way for us to customize our site right away. Now the third area that we can actually go and customize our site is going to be in the categories area. And one of the things you're going to notice is that there's going to be one general category that all of our posts are going to go into. And so what we want to do right away is we want to rename that uncategorized area to something that is recognizable to us. So we're going to call that Team Victory so that the default category for all of our posts are going to be Team Victory. We go back to Categories, and of course we can definitely add more categories, but we've changed this from Uncategorized now to Team Victory. And so we'll see the same thing if we go to the Settings area and we go to the Writing tab. And we'll notice that the default post category is going to be Team Victory. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.